Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today we're going to test out the Wilson Duo Soft Plus, which is like the softest compression ball that I've ever seen. I think the compression on this ball is like a 44. My golf spy says that soft is slow. We're going to test out that theory at my swing speed. I'm not sure it makes a difference. Check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. All right guys, we got 390 yard par four uphill. Start there. Pretty tight, guys. All right, we hit that one high on the face, and essentially a pop-up, but let's get down there. That'll give us a shot with a, a long club into the green. We got 175 to the middle of the green, Pins in the back, so it's probably playing about 185 because it is a little uphill. Let's try to smooth the four hybrid up there and see if we can get it close. Okay, start a little right, drew a little bit. This ball does feel very soft off the club face. It's not a bad feel, it's just nice and soft. Feels like I almost didn't hit a golf ball. I think it's off the right side, probably about pin high. All right guys, look like we hit it just past pin high. We're gonna just try to flop it on the front edge of the green, let it roll down to the hole. All right there guys, the greens are rolling pretty darn quick. Unfortunate bogey there, but we're gonna play a couple more holes with this Wilson. Try to get used to this soft cover. So far, I see why they call this ball the Duo Soft Plus. This ball is really soft. 193 to the front edge, about 200 to the pin. I'll hit a high wood. We're gonna see if we can work this ball. We're gonna try to hit it right to left. Okay guys, we hit that one pretty good. Nice high draw in there. Expected it to be high because I hit the, the high <laughs> wood. Ball felt good. Again, it felt soft. Now hitting a high wood here into a little breeze from about 200 yards, I hit that pretty solid. So I would expect this ball to be at least pin high. Let's see if the Wilson Dual Soft is getting the distance that we think it should be getting. That would have been a great birdie. Don't birdie that hole very often. Now we're on a 377 yard par four uphill. We're gonna try to a little draw with this ball. It worked out pretty good there. It was easy to easy to move that ball. Turned quite a bit in the air. Uh, let's try to hit another draw off the tee here. All right guys, we didn't hit it great but it did draw right in the middle of the fairway. I mean, if you like a soft field, this is gonna be a good ball for you. Probably a little too soft for my liking. Now guys, I'd be the first to admit that I didn't hit that ball very well, but I still expected it to go a little further than it did. I've got about 155 to the pin, 148 to the front edge of the green, the T9 is telling me. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. We definitely don't wanna go too far on this hole. So we're gonna hit a seven iron and it's uphill. Let's see if we can get it somewhere between the flag and the front of the green. All right guys, change my mind there. One thing I haven't done is try to work this ball left to right. I'm going to hit seven iron, try to hit a little left to right shot, and that'll assure me that I'll keep it under the hole. Looks like I got to work on that. So instead of hitting a left to right shot, we hit it dead straight, actually pulled it a little bit. But we're probably about pin high. We're going to have a tough putt. All right, guys, this is one of the toughest greens on the course and we have a tricky putt. So goes without saying, two putt would be really good here. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't even watch that ball finish. It's off the green.
All right, guys. So there you have the on-course performance of this Wilson Duo. You know, it's kind of like playing with a like a jellyfish. So we're gonna go inside. We'll look at the numbers and see how the Wilson Duo stacks up and uh, see if this might be a ball you want to put in your bag. Right back, guys. From 50 yards, the Wilson Duo had an incredibly high 37 and a half degree launch angle, over seven degrees higher than the Pro V1. Had almost 2,000 RPMs less spin. The descent was steeper, four degrees steeper, and the peak height due to that launch and lack of spin was 11 yards. Ball is a budget ball, so we don't expect it to stop like a Pro V1 or any premium golf ball, but that is quite a low number on the spin from 50 yards. With the seven iron, the Wilson lost two miles per hour on the ball speed. Launch was about one degree higher and the spin a couple hundred RPMs less than the Pro V1. The descent was a little steeper and the peak height was only one yard more than the Pro V1. So the carry was three yards shorter overall with the seven iron and two yards total due to the additional uh, yard of rollout due to less having a little less spin. With the driver, the Wilson Duo had one of the lowest ball speeds that I've recorded. It was five miles per hour less than the Pro V1. The launch was three degrees higher and the spin 400 RPMs less than the Pro V1. Matter of fact, this Wilson Duo had the lowest spin number that I've recorded on all the balls I've tested with the driver. Even though it was five miles per hour less ball speed, it still carried only three yards shorter than the Pro V1 and the total distance was only two yards shorter. Pretty good performance due to a lot lower spin number. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video on the Wilson Duo Soft. If softballs aren't your thing, click the video to my right for a ball that's pretty much the opposite of that. If you do like softballs, but you want a ball that performs a little bit better than this Wilson Duo Soft, then click the video to my left. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head. Get back in this. Got an outside shot. You still can win this. You run off birdies before. Why not now? It's just the game now. Let's show them how it's done. You miss the KB. Respect on your name is deserved when you're playing the game that you played from yay high. I'ma write my names in the books and play now. Raj told me have fun, so I'ma do it.